welcome back to Crock-Pot Empire. I'm Kimberly Bishop and welcome to my kitchen. Today we're going to be making spaghetti and meatballs in the Crock-Pot Express multi-cooker on pressure cooker mode. This recipe couldn't be any easier. You just throw all the ingredients into the inner pot, put the lid on lock, set the valve to no venting, press the steam button, adjust the time to 8 minutes, and in less than 15 to 20 minutes after it comes up to pressure, you have spaghetti and meatballs ready for supper. So come on and join me. Let's get cooking spaghetti and meatballs. We're going to start off by dumping a jar of our favorite pasta sauce into the inner pot. And then we're just going to add in some frozen meatballs. Today I'm using Trader Joe's, but any brand of your favorite frozen meatballs will be just fine. Now we just want to stir that all around and make sure that your meatballs are covered in sauce. And now it's time to introduce the star of the show, spaghetti. I am using the pot size spaghetti just out of convenience, but you can certainly use any type of spaghetti, but you'll just have to break your noodles in half. Next, we're just going to lay down our spaghetti noodles right on top of our meatball and sauce mixture. And we're gonna to wanna to do this in a pattern so that the noodles don't stick together during the cooking process. We wanna make sure that they're fully spread out. So when you're laying them down, just make sure you do a pattern of vertically, horizontally. And because your pressure cooker always needs liquid to come up to pressure, we're going to fill our favorite jar of spaghetti sauce with water to get that extra sauce out. And then we're going to fill it up again and make sure all those noodles are covered with the water. Then just take a kitchen utensil and gently push down the noodles to make sure that they are spread out and fully covered. Place the lid on lock, set the seal to no venting, press the steam button, adjust the time to eight minutes, and then press start. When you open it up, it may look a little soupy, but don't worry. Once you stir it up and let it sit for a little bit, the water will evaporate. So just keep giving it some stirs and break apart some of those spaghetti noodles that may have gotten a little bit stuck together during the cooking process. And then we're just gonna let it sit for a little bit to thicken up. So now you can see it is the consistency that we're looking for. And now we have perfectly cooked spaghetti and meatballs ready for supper. Yum. Okay, who's coming over for dinner? Then just add some Parmesan cheese to top it off and the easiest dinner is served. Thanks so much for watching, and always remember, you can visit my blog at www.crockpotempire.com for a printable recipe card and the exact measurements and ingredients for every recipe. Can't wait to see you in my kitchen next time on Crockpot Empire.